So in this tutorial we're going to be doing another nice easy mod. Um, basically for this whole series of vids I've just been showing you all the base aspects of what it does take to create a complete theme. Um, definitely sometimes you just don't want to go scrolling through pages and pages of, of separate themes or individual bits or sometimes you just can't find what you want in Cydia. Um, there is a lot of crap out there so it just doesn't suit your needs and also gives you a bit of satisfaction if you do it yourself I think so today we're going to be looking at the charge screen on the lock screen when you uh, have your phone on charge so let's have a look there's the standard Apple one this is the green charge indicator that obviously moves along to the right and fills up the battery as it goes along so that's what we're going to be making today um, so what we'll need to do obviously you'll need your jailbroken iPhone and uh, open SSH installed on the phone so you can use a FTP client to get in there like FileZilla, WinSCP. Um, so first of all, um, all we're going to do is create a series of folders and we're going to have some picks in there as well in the last folder which are going to be the different stages of the charging. So let's have a look. I've already created this, so I'm just going to go through it and uh, so just follow along and see how you go. First one we're going to have is uh, just the standard name of the theme, so this is what you're going to see in Winterboard. So I've just called this one Get Fact Battery. Double click in there, you've got another folder. This one is called Bundles with a capital B. Go into there. All lowercase com.apple.springboard. And finally, it contains your images. So basically what we're going to have is you have a series of 17 images. Um, and each one starts off with capital B Battery, capital B G underscore and then number through one, 1 through uh, 17 and it's going to be saved as a .png file so as you can see here all the way through 1 through 17 so what we'll just show you basically is um, you do want to get the width right because you obviously you don't want it to be too big to fit on your screen height I haven't played around with too much um, mine is small is thinner than the default so obviously it can be thinner um, probably can be a bit bit wider too but you don't want it messing up your, your screen or looking stupid so you can certainly have a play around but you want to keep the width as 264 pixels um, in, and in my case to keep the aspect ratio mine stand to 70 pixels but it is a bit bigger than that uh, the standard one anyway so let's just have a quick look in paint um, I did this in Photoshop really quickly I've been really lazy with what I've done but you can obviously go as nuts as you want so let's have a quick look in photo uh, sorry in paint um, that really doesn't show anything because it's all gone all weird um, but basically I've just got the logo, it's a transparent background so it um, just sits over the top of the black background and in my personal case what I've done I'll try to show you um, hopefully you can see up there it says charge low and so what I've done is you start off with your number one picture um, that basically represents 0% your number 17 picture represent 100% so in my case I've changed that to charging complete now the sort of most accurate um, scale I, I sort of find is you start off at 0 and then you go up in 6% increments I'll try and show you that so the next one's charging 6 then it's charging 12 18 goes all the way up um, to 90% and then it has a bit of a jump from 90 to 100 so if you actually do the um, text obviously you do have six percent jumps so it's not always going to be exactly what it shows on the top of the the actual built-in indicator but it'll be pretty close now obviously if you have a picture that's moving like the standard one it's not going to be a problem it's going to look pretty damn good so you can leave it so long story short that's it so remember 264 pixels wide and capital B battery capital BG underscore and then numbers 1 through 17 and remember to save it as a .png so there we go so all we have to do, I'll just show you through iFile here but obviously we'll be copying this in through the FTP client itself so as normal we will be starting off right at the back in the root go down to var go down to stash go into themes and I've already copied mine across so there it is get fact battery just sitting there and I'll just go through quickly so bundles com.apple.springboard and there's my 17 images so basically what we're going to do now is I will go into winterboard 
will enable the theme and then we'll do a respring and I'll come right back and show you the results okay we're back guys so let's have a quick look close that open it up there we go charging 90% it's on 88 on the uh, actual display the inbuilt display so that's pretty close and that'll look great if you've got uh, pictures going across obviously even with the, the charging text it looks fine so there you go that's how to make uh, a custom battery for your lock screen definitely um, we'll get into some more in-depth themes like I said in the future but let's take it step by step and uh, you'll soon have your own custom theme built the way you like it so definitely go to www.getfact.com for more tutorials like this great user forum and stuff as well we're just starting it but come over and check it out and um, we're, we're going to make this pretty big I think so it should be good so thanks for watching and uh, I'll be back with another video soon Cheers.